Sharon Tate, everybody's been saying that the star system has disappeared, that they don't manufacture stars anymore. But your proof was the contrary. You've been kept under wraps for about two years now to be groomed for stardom. Mm -hmm. What is the process like? Well, it's a very strenuous one, I must say. To begin mm -hmm. with, for approximately three years, I've had no personal life, I guess you could call it. I've done nothing but study from 8 o'clock in the morning till about 6.30 at night. And then on three evenings out of every week, I went to a night class, too. What were you studying? Well, I had acting classes, voice, singing, bodybuilding, everything. Absolutely everything, which is necessary, you know. They didn't put you in front of a camera at all? Well, they did, actually. I... My producer had a show called The Beverly Hillbillies, and they would slap a black wig on my head, and I would run out in front of the camera, you know, just to get used to it. Because being in front of the camera and going to classes are two different worlds entirely. And why did they put the black wig on you? So that people wouldn't recognize, wouldn't recognize you? Wouldn't recognize me, right. Well, how did you like this feeling of, of not being Sharon Tate? A person, but Sharon Tate, a uh, starlet about to be starlet. No, no, I don't like that word starlet at all because there's no such thing, actually. I feel, at, at least in my estimation, that every person, if they want to be an actress, if they want to stay in the acting world, which is a pretty tough world, before you even make an appearance, it's very necessary to learn your craft first and take as much time and do as much as you can. And so I, I, I wasn't upset at all. I was making myself prepared. You did never feel like a prisoner that you never, wanted to Not get really, out. not really, because I, I felt that if, if you're serious about it, it's a lot of hard work. If not, you play and you get absolutely nowhere at all. Have you any idea what it is they saw in you, besides your obvious mm -hmm. beauty, of course? Mm -hmm. what? This is a mistake I think most young girls make when they want to go into uh, an acting career. When an, a producer or somebody sees them, they have a fresh, natural quality that no one has touched. It's something that's them. And so when a person starts their acting classes or whatever, they get an idea of what I think a starlet is. And the hair goes up in whirls, the dresses, the clothes change, and unfortunately their whole personality changes. So my idea is the full-time job is to learn your craft and also to try to keep yourself what you really are. Some of the European papers have been calling you the new Marilyn Monroe. Oh, dear. <laughs> what do you think of that? I love Marilyn Monroe, but it would be kind of difficult to, for me to be another Marilyn Monroe, I think. Do you, you think you could, you could ever become subject to the pressures that she became? Oh, dear. In my estimation, that type of a sex symbol is really gone. You know, it's more imagination. It's, it's sexiness to me is part of every movement. It's you don't see the big low-cut dresses anymore. It's more all to the imagination. I, I really have no desire.